Being social beings, we need to recognize each other. And we do so in all sorts of ways, by the way people move, the way they dress, their voices, where they are. But in particular, we are very good at recognizing each other's faces. Um, and, uh, well, when I say we, I mean the majority of people. There are some people who are not so good at recognizing faces, and in extreme cases, people may not recognize their husband, their wife, their children, their oldest friends, and they are called face blind. Um, they may see a face perfectly clearly, but it doesn't convey identity to them. And the uh, technical term prosopagnosia, prosopon is the Greek for a face, and an agnosia is not recognizing. So the term prosopagnosia was introduced in 1944. Um, although one talks about face blind, as if the face blind are a species apart from the, the face normal people, in fact there's a, a whole population, uh, really a continuous population, uh, with the, you know, 80% uh, of the people in the middle and the poor recognizers at one end and the super recognizers at the other. The super recognizers are, are, are people who, who have indelible memories of faces, who will say, yeah, I remember you. You, were, uh, you served us in that cafe in Naples 27 years ago. Um, I think my mother was probably bad at recognizing faces. She was very shy. She was ill at ease with large numbers of people. Uh, my father was the opposite. My father was a sort of super recognizer. Uh, I think he recognized thousands of people, and, uh, and he was highly sociable. Now, whether his, um, uh, his sociability made him good at recognizing faces or vice versa, and whether my mother's shyness, um, you know, whether that was a cause or effect, I, I don't know. I, I think with myself, I, I, I have both. I'm, I'm somewhat diffident in social intercourse, but it's also made more difficult because I often don't know whom I'm talking to. I published my book, The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. And um, Dr. P, whom I described, uh, had overwhelming problems with agnosia of many sorts. He didn't recognize people. Um, Although, interestingly, he recognized cartoons, because in a, a cartoon uh, there is an exaggerated nose or, or an umbrella. There are particular marks by which one can recognize a cartoon. Churchill has a cigar, Schnozzel Durante has, has a nose, um, uh, Einstein has his mustache and those big sad eyes. Um, but he couldn't recognize faces, even his wife, even himself, in the normal way. And he also had difficulty recognizing objects. Um, he couldn't recognize a glove. Now, after my hat book came out, I got dozens of letters. Uh, people were interested and moved by various cases. Um, and in particular, I got some letters in which people uh, wrote of their own difficulty recognizing faces and places. They said they were not as, uh, unlike Dr. P, who had only uh, developed the difficulty with a brain condition when he was in his 60s, the people who wrote to me said this, that their condition had been lifelong, and often other people in the family had had it. Um, and this gave me the impression uh, that out there, there might be scores, hundreds, thousands of people with difficulty in face recognition who, um, who didn't think of it as a condition, who had never consulted a neurologist, but who, who were outing themselves, who were coming out. Now they had read about, my, about Dr. P. And so I was intrigued by this um, uh, apparently overlooked uh, but, but not small uh, community of people in the world who might have problems like my own and, and perhaps much worse. Mm -hmm.